What is up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in today and watching this video that I've made and brought to you guys. It means so much for me that you guys are sitting here and you guys want to watch my content. This is something that's been a long time in the making, not necessarily because it's been difficult for us to make videos, but just because we haven't. And we've been going out so much, and especially because of the virus, one of the things that we've been doing so much of and during this pandemic and social distancing is getting outside and going fishing and going diving. So finally, we have a video that we've created and we're bringing it to you guys. This video is gonna be extra special because today what we're gonna be showing you is some diving videos. So me and a couple friends over the course of a couple days went out and did some diving for some sheep's head in the local water here in East Central Florida. Those of you that live or have been to East Central Florida, specifically in the Mosquito Lagoon, the Indian River Lagoon, know that for the past couple years we've had a lot of water quality issues so diving in this area is not something that happens every week unfortunately you know the water is not usually clear enough for us to dive but luckily we had some cooler weather a lot of that algae kind of died off and allowed us to get in the water and luckily shoot some nice sheep set and luckily we got some of those sheep set on film for you guys to watch so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and cut to the footage and quit me talking so i'll see you guys out there in the water and hopefully you guys enjoy this video so much Feel free to leave a like and comment on any suggestions that you might have, recommendations for future videos, and hopefully this video is the first of many more to come, especially as we near the spring and summer season, where hopefully the seas die down, right? we're bringing you guys some offshore content. Uh, hopefully you guys come along with me on my journey to become a better free diver and spear fisherman, and hopefully we'll bring you guys a lot more spear fishing videos to come, if that's something you guys like. And yeah, so like I said, without further ado, that's enough of me talking. I will see you guys underwater. All right guys, so before we jump into the diving portion of this video, I want to just go over a little bit of the gear that we're using during this diving. So first thing we're going to start with is the wetsuit and fins over here. So obviously when we're diving in colder water, not always, especially being in Florida, but especially right now in the winter months, you know, the water's high 60s, low 70s, definitely want to make sure we're wearing a wetsuit. So here I just have a cheap three mil wetsuit just to keep me warm and keep me from getting hypothermia and making it comfortable to dive. You know, if you're ever uncomfortable while you're diving, you're doing something wrong especially free diving, you always want to make sure you're comfortable so you can perform at your highest ability and also so you can make sure you're safe while doing it. Moving on from the wetsuit, what we're going to talk about some is we're going to talk about our fins here. So these are just some cheaper, long, kind of harder plastic diving fins. Nothing fancy. Obviously, you can move all the way up the ladder to some nice carbon fiber, carbon fins. One day, hopefully, possibly within the next couple of months, we'll be there. But these have served me so well. I believe these cost me right around $100 for them. And they have been absolutely an amazing addition to my spearfishing arsenal, as well as just to my free diving arsenal together, and has made a lot of this diving a lot easier. Moving on from our wetsuit, we're going to talk a little bit about our mask here. So arguably one of the most important pieces of equipment that you're going to use while you're diving is your mask here. Without it, obviously you're not going to be able to see. So I just have a cheaper hammerhead mask here. It's a free diving mask. And as you can see, I have that GoPro mount on it just so I'm able to bring you guys down there along with me. I just have a little felt back strap here. It makes it a lot more comfortable, but it's definitely not necessary to have one of these. You can just definitely use a, uh, you know, the traditional straps that come with them, but for no more than the 10 to $20 that these range for definitely recommend getting one of these and then obviously we have our snorkel here how else are you going to breathe then while you're at the surface and be comfortable and having this snorkel you know you want a nice you know doesn't have to be anything fancy i think this one ran me about twenty dollars so it's definitely nice to have a nice little setup like this and it'll make it a lot easier on you if you get a mask that fits you properly and that you're comfortable with Moving on from our mask, we're going to talk a little bit about our gloves. Obviously, you'll see in the video, we're going to be pulling ourselves along those rocks and stuff. You don't want to cut your hands up. Believe me, trust me from personal experience, the rocks are sharper than you think. It's definitely worth it to invest, you know, a couple dollars into a decent pair of gloves. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I mean, these are only like $20, but even, you know, a simple pair of $5 fishing gloves will definitely do the trick and your hands will thank you. I promise you. Moving on from our gloves and our mask, we're going to talk about our weight belt. 
you'll see in the video we're doing a lot of shallow water diving and it's very important especially on shallow water diving when you're going to be holding yourself down there on the bottom trying to remain as still as possible that you have enough weight so you can stay down there comfortably and be still and not scare those fish so obviously it's going to vary you know per the person and who you are and what size wetsuit you have but you want to make sure you have enough weight so that you with your wetsuit and all your equipment are going to be able to stay down there in that shallow water and be neutral buoyant and be still down there so you're not scaring the fish very very important piece of equipment moving on from all of this equipment one of the most important things also for spear fishing is obviously the spear this is just a cheaper gun that i use especially when i'm spearing in shore waters nothing fancy it has a reel on it but by no means does this size gun even need a reel it's just how i bought it came with it it definitely makes it nice sometimes though and even makes it a little easier to reload so it's just a 90 centimeter omer spear gun definitely gets the job done and especially you can see on the sheep's head it has no issue getting these things in the boat. Of course, to put all this stuff in, it is absolutely amazing to have a nice dive bag or dry bag to put it in. This is not an actual dive bag, but it's a dry bag and it works absolutely perfect to put all this gear in and get it to the dive spot safely and organized. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and cut to the chase and I will see you guys in the water. Alright guys, so you can see here we're underwater and this is kind of what we're working with. Uh, you see a lot of these ledges down in the area that I was diving at. And you'll see throughout the video a lot of the mangrove snappers. Some of them were actually pretty nice, but unfortunately in the area we're shooting at we're not able to shoot the snapper. We can only focus on the sheep's head. You can see here I dive down on that ledge. I'm holding myself. Look around. Just trying to be still as I can. And I ended up coming on this nice sheep's head. Take aim. And I actually ended up getting a pretty decent shot on this one. Unfortunately, the shaft didn't go all the way through, but luckily I was able to get my hands on him and get that dinner and go ahead and take him and put him in the boat. Got two solid keepers right now. Um, visibility is getting a little, a little difficult right now. Sun's getting a little low. Monsters today, but we got some dinner. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and hop back in the boat. See if uh, my friend Keegan can go ahead and pop in one or two more keepers. And uh, yeah, so. Man, that one's the top one. Nice. All right guys, so day two of diving, and as you can see right off the bat, the water clarity on this day was even less so than the previous day. But as you can see, the fish were even less scared and really not intimidated by me. A lot of snapper, and right off the bat, you can see these nice sheep's head that pulled up in front of me. And I was able to get a nice shot on this one right behind the gill plate. Really good way to start off this second day of diving. So you can see here, back in the water again after that first sheep's head, and this water clarity is just really not good. I mean, it's, it's getting even more silty, the current's starting to pick up, but I'm still able to see just enough to where I can still kind of make out the sheep's head. So go down for five, kind of pick out a decent one, let it fly, and end up getting another nice shot on a pretty decent keeper. Alrighty guys, so this dive here, I actually ended up spooking the sheep's head that I was going to target and uh, trying to end up shooting. Usually I will not chase down a fish, but this is a pretty decent one, so I decided to go ahead and risk it and uh, see if I could just find him. And as you can see, I ended up getting a pretty lucky shot on him just off the side there and actually a pretty decent shot at that. And uh, that was actually a pretty nice sheep's head, especially given the water clarity that we were working with. Hey, well. <laughs> I stoned him. 
after a couple more days of spear fishing, ended up getting a lot of nice sheep's head. No real monsters, but some decent ones up to about 18 and a half inches. So not too bad, especially considering the water clarity we were working with wasn't ideal. You know, tended to average four to six foot. So we did pretty decent. So as you can see here, we got a keeper right here that we're gonna show you guys how we flay up. Working with the Toadfish collapsible flay knife here, and it's been pretty good for the money that um, it costed. So we're gonna go ahead and flay this guy up, show you how we do it. You can kind of see we already started here. And once we finish that, I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the kitchen and we'll go from there. All right guys, so we've got our fish all flayed up here and I forgot to mention earlier in the video, but we're only gonna be cooking, uh, I think this is the flays from about three sheep's head. Uh, so this is not all the meat. We're not going to be cooking it all up right now, but we have the rest in the freezer. So this is what we're going to be cooking up. We're going to be doing it relatively simple tonight. We just have the fish here, um, all boned and skinned, and we have some olive oil, just a little bit on the flays, just to help the seasoning stick. We're going to be using some Everglades heat as our seasoning. And then for our pan here, we're just going to be cooking them in the pan. We have our uh, extra virgin olive oil spray and just a little bit of butter in the pan, uh, just to help them not stick. So. We're going to go ahead and get these guys seasoned up. We've got our pan over here preheating, and then we're going to go ahead and get these guys in the pan, and it'll be about time to eat. Alrighty, so we've got all the fish all seasoned up, so our pan's preheated, fish are seasoned, so let's go ahead and go throw these guys in here and get to cooking. Alright guys, so we just finished cooking the fish and here's what it looks like. As you can see, it's got that nice golden color to it. It's kind of flaking apart there. So this is what we have. We have this and we have some mashed potatoes which is well cooked for it and we're also going to be serving it with some stuffed peppers. So we're going to go ahead and get it plated and we'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, so we've got everything plated up here. We have our nice sheep's head that we fixed with that Everglades heat seasoning. Just real simple. We have some perfect mashed potatoes here that we cooked up and as well as some stuffed peppers with ground beef to go with everything. So this is the finished product after a couple days of spearing. Very delicious. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I mean, like I said, it means so much that you guys sat here and watched the video. And if you made it to this point, please definitely leave us a like and comment down below. It means so much. And especially if you guys leave any comments down below, just asking, you know, what type of footage you guys want to see. Really, the sky is the limit. We live in Florida. There is a thousand opportunities for adventures that I can take you guys along on and help grow this channel. So your feedback helps me so much and lets me know kind of what type of stuff I need to start doing and start showing you guys. Obviously, this is my first video. Well, I have videos, but we're not gonna talk about those past videos. This is one of my first videos that I'm making for you guys with this camera and some of the equipment that I'm working with now. So obviously over time, I'm gonna learn in my ability and grow the quality of these videos. And hopefully I can bring you guys continuously along on these journeys and keep growing with you guys. Like I said originally, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It's meant so much to me and I can't wait for the future videos to come and to bring you guys along on those events. Always stay safe and please feel free to like and subscribe and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Have a great day.